morning guys, Cat Hunter here today with another video. I know you got a lot of stuff to do, you got to get up and you got to go to work. But before you do that, I want to show you a real quick video on how to make a super highly concentrated brine mix to put your bait in gizzard shad, skipjack, whatever it is you need to do to keep that bait from getting moist. I'm going to show you how to do it. What we're going to be using here today is Boston mackerel, but you can do this with any bait, whether it's mullet, whether it's gizzard shad skipjack whatever bait you're going to use you need to learn how to make this highly concentrated brine mix so that way your bait stays frozen the entire time you're fishing now what you're going to want to do is you're going to need a bunch of ice you're going to need a few coolers okay the next thing you're going to need is a big bag of salt 40 pounds of salt take all that salt dump it down inside there on top of your bait make sure you get it in there all nice and good stir the bait up nice Shake it, do whatever you got to do to get all that salt all the way down to the bottom of that brine mix. Because once this brine mix starts to do its thing, it is cold. It's cold enough to freeze bottles of water to the core. The bait will be so frozen, you can smack it on stuff and it, and it dings. Okay, so now what you're going to want to do is just kind of stir the bait up a little bit. Make sure you get all the way down in there. Get, all, get that salt all the way down to the bottom of your cooler. Now what you can do guys is also if you have bait that you have vacuum sealed in the freezer that you don't want to just lay all over the deck and that, you know how it is if you've got skipjack and they thaw out throughout the day that skipjack is ruined. So what you do is you just bring you along this brine mix. Make this brine mix up before you go fishing. Put all your vacuum sealed bags of skipjacks in this brine mix throughout the day and only take out the ones you need so that way at the end of the day whatever bait you did not use it will stay frozen to the core and you can take that bait and put it right back in the freezer to use again for another day that's another tip you will wanna hold on to but as you can see in this video I'm getting all the way down to the bottom of that all the way down to the bottom of the cooler take you a bunch of ice that we just went and filled up dump it all on top of these baits Get it all in there. Don't be shy with ice. The more ice you have, the better. Then what you're going to need to do is fill up a five-gallon bucket of water. And for a 120-quart cooler, it takes about two five-gallon buckets of water to fill up the cooler. We've almost got this bucket full. And we're going to fill up one more bucket of water. We're going to dump it in there on top of our bait. So we're just going to take this bucket of water and dump it right in there on top of this bait. Let's go fill up another bucket. Okay, so this is our final bucket of water, and this bucket of water should take it all the way about perfectly level. It'll give us the exact amount of water that we're going to need for this. As you can see, our cooler is full of water, ice, salt, and bait. Next thing we want to do is take the remaining salt left in the bag, save a little bit of salt, and then we're just going to take that salt and put it on the surface. And you'll notice, guys, we're using 40 pounds of salt for this. We spared no expenses. We are not afraid to go heavy on the salt. Take you a little bit more ice. Dump the rest of your ice that you've got left in your other cooler. Another thing I want to point out, guys, is this brine mix is so powerful. The ice can melt off of it. Once the brine starts doing its thing, the ice can melt off of it. You can leave that bait in that cooler for weeks, for weeks, and it stays good. Okay, just take you a stick. Reach in there, stir that up. So what's going to happen is we've all done it. We went fishing. We came home. We forgot to clean our coolers out. Wake, go out there two days later and you got a stinking hot mess. Well, you won't have that happen with your brine mix, guys. Okay, next thing you want to do is go in there and fill you up a bottle of water. This bottle of water is going to be your tester to make sure your brine mix is kicking just right. Take the bottle of water, throw it in your brine mix. Poke it down in there. All right, let's take a look at the kind of salt I'm using, guys. As you can see, this is a fine, this is a fine salt. It's real thin. It dissolves very quickly. You can get this from pool stores. I always get mine from the pool stores. All right, let's check out our bottle of water. And boom, there you have it. This this bait's been in here for about 20 minutes now, and this bottle of water is frozen. The mackerel's starting to harden, and when this brine mix kicks like it's supposed to, the mackerel. Will I'm Glenn Flowers, owner and operator of Flathead Catfish Hunters and Cat Hunters Trophy Catfishing Guide Service. And as always, guys, I want to say thanks for stopping by and watching another one of my instructional videos. We're getting a little bit better at this. We're not quite there yet. But until the next video, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the water.